This year I had the team vote, but then I waited. I knew who they had voted for, who had gotten the most votes, and it was uh, pretty unanimous. It was pretty strong, but I waited a couple weeks. I wanted to see if those three guys were responding the way I wanted before I gave them that honor, and, uh, and they've done that. And Phil Forte, who, uh, who who's a great leader, and Jeff Newberry, who will be a new captain, uh, and Leighton Hammonds, who's a new captain, those three guys will be uh, this year's captains uh, for our basketball team. Uh, it just means a lot to me. I know we have a lot of young guys come in, a lot of new guys that don't know our system yet. So just to know that they look up to me in a sense, off the court and on the court, and just knowing I can come in and be a leader my senior year, it means the world to me. It is a big honor. It is nice to know that when your teammates vote for you, that's something, you know, that you kind of want to return the favor. You know, I don't want to let them down this year. So, I mean, it's a whole team thing. It's not just, you know, me, Leighton, and Jeff. It's a whole team. we got to come together as a team, and everyone's got to be on the same page. You know, we just kind of happen to be three of the guys that have been here a little longer and have some experience. But it's got to be a whole team thing this year, and that's what we're trying to really focus on. High school, I was a leader. Even when I stepped on the Except on the varsity team, I was a leader. I'm just, I'm always a vocal guy. I love to talk. Um, so being vocal wasn't hard for me, but just at this level, being a leader is different. So just, I feel like I'm adjusting to it well, and these guys are making it easy for me. I mean, they're looking up to me, they're responding, and I mean, it's, we're all a team. So they can tell me something, I can tell them something. So it's always good. Well, having great leaders within your team, not just coaching staff, but in, within your team, guys that are going to lead in the locker room when the coaches aren't around, guys that are going to leave over, lead over in the apartments when the coaches aren't around, could be the difference between success and failure. Uh, it, it, it's that important that you have those strong leaders who, first of all, lead by example. They hold themselves accountable first. And then second, aren't afraid to be the bad guy at times, aren't afraid to have to tell a teammate in the right way that we need to do it this way, you're not doing it the right way, you need to get on the same page. you got to have those type guys if you're going to have success at a high level. Uh, we've missed that a little bit at times, but hopefully this group, these leaders, as well as some hopefully other guys can chip in, uh, will have that attitude and uh, you know hold everybody accountable at all times, not just when I'm around.